affairs begin from the courts and an Accra High Court has ordered Achimoto School to admit the Rastafarian students who were denied admission for wearing dreadlocks. In her judgment, presiding judge Justice Gifte Jado said the fundamental human rights of the students cannot be limited because of their religious beliefs. Here's a report by Gottfried Tanam. The controversy whether these students who carry their dreadlocks has been settled by the Human Rights Court here in Accra and the students are so excited that in manifesting their religious belief they are going to keep their dreadlocks whilst in school studying with other students and they believe that the law has been tested and it is historical that they are the ones who got this done. The applicants wanted the court to declare that the failure and or a refusal of the first respondent at Chimota School Board of Governors to admit or enroll the applicant on the basis of his Rastafarian religious inclination, beliefs and culture characterized by his keeping of Rasta is a violation of his fundamental human rights and freedoms guaranteed under the 1992 Constitution, particularly Articles 12 1, 23, 21 1, B and C. The court, after the parties involved in the matter, made their submissions ruled in favor of the Rastafarians. The excitement after the verdict was obvious. The court insisted the manifestation of one's beliefs must not go against their fundamental human rights. The court added the directive had the applicant to step aside during the registration exercise because of his dreadlocks is a breach of his dignity and no rightful basis has been provided by the school to interfere with the religious rights of the applicant. The school was therefore ordered to admit the applicant to continue his education in the school. Parents of both students said they expected the outcome of the judgment. Well, we're feeling really fabulous, you know what I mean? And it's a quality win, which we were expecting to win. Because um, we as people, I, I, I think sometimes common sense should rule over kind of rules, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So we're really happy. And this is what we were expecting because I've, all this while I've been saying it in the morning that if the judge will put some things into consideration as a human, that she should know that it's a win for us. Ohinaba Kukun Krabia and Tyron Magai said though they have lost some contact hours, they are poised to catch up with their colleagues. So I've been through a lot. I've missed first time being in school, the adventurous moments and the science nerds walking around. I missed all of that. Now when I go in there, I would be a stranger somewhat, even though they, they would know I'm the Achimata guy who took their school to court. Growing up, of course, I've been I've been taught how to be to be polite and uh, be respectful and I, I don't think I would go there and, and do anything bad after all this. Council for the Rastafarians, Wayoga Namanti, said this is a historical feat and it is the reflection of reality. Yes, we agree that human rights can be li limited. As we say, rights are not absolute. But there should be a justifiable reason to limit fundamental human rights. And she's simply saying that the respondents at Timota School, the Ghana Education Service, the Ministry of Education and the Attorney General have not proven that compelling reason for her mind to weigh towards what the state is saying. Ohiniba Koku Krabia and Tyron Magai sued the school's board of governors, the Minister of Education, Ghana Education Service and the Attorney General to enforce their fundamental human rights. Godfrey Tanam, TV3 News, Accra.